Most slip discs or herniated discs get better without surgery. In fact, many herniated discs do not even cause pain. I know not what you're told by others, but it is the truth. Many research studies show herniated discs are found in many people who have no pain associated with the finding. But if you do have a herniated or slipped disc pain, know that most disc-related pains go away over time. Hi, I'm Dr. John Shim, and I'd like to explain how your own body combats pain related to herniated discs. If we review how herniated discs happen, the most simple way is to use the jelly donut model. The center of the human disc, which is the nucleus proposis, ruptures through the annulus fibrosis, which is the woven structure containing the nucleus. The nucleus, which has chemicals as well as a mass, irritates the surrounding tissues, including the nerves. This is like the jelly coming out of the side of the donut. To be more specific, the outer structure, the annulus fibrosis, is made up of cross-linked woven fibers that crisscross and are tied to each other, thus holding the center jelly or nucleus proposis. The cross-links of the fibers may break, allowing a separation of the fibers, and the nucleus can then push through that break. Once that weak spot allows an opening, the fibers themselves can also break, causing a blowout of the nucleus. The nucleus material then causes an inflammation of the tissues and the nerves, and the mechanical pressure of the jelly-like substance also compresses the nerves and the tissues. This causes the pain signals, numbness, and weakness. Ouch! So, how does the body fight off the pain associated with the disc herniation? The human body removes any foreign object by activating special cells called macrophages and monocytes that attack and destroy the foreign material. To use another analogy, these cells are like small Pac-Men that chomp away at all that stuff. To the body, a herniated disc, which is the nucleus proposis in the wrong location, is considered a foreign object. The macrophages and monocytes Pac-Man away the nucleus. In addition, the larger disc herniations tend to have the most water content. With time, this disc piece will dehydrate. Over time, the disc herniation is removed and shrinks back so it no longer irritates the nerves or the tissues. The body also heals back the tear in the annulus and reties the annular fibers. That healed annulus is now associated with a scar and though it helps hold the nucleus back into its position, it is a weaker area and it has a small but increased chance of re-rupture. The disc will continue with the natural dehydration process and will bulge over time. That's why if you get serial MRI studies of large disc herniations, you'll see spontaneous regression of the herniation and longer term, the findings of a disc bulge. The most important thing you need to know is that the body does have its own way to remove disc herniations. If you're patient enough and do not have major nerve issues that require surgery, most of the time the body does remove the disc herniation on its own. That is the reason why many people will have disc herniations or bulges on MRIs, but no pain. If you are in severe pain, Please discuss this condition with your doctor to make sure you do not have a situation that requires urgent or emergent care. Fortunately, these situations are rare. On the other hand, if you have truly lost muscle strength and lost the ability to control your bladder or bowels, you may need care right now. If your doctor determines that's not the case, and if you can tolerate the current pain, Allow your body to start the process of removing the disc herniation. Let your body Pac-Man away that disc. If you're in pain, but do not have significant loss of body functions, you can wait to see if your body will remove or improve that disc herniation. That's why greater than 90% of people with disc herniations do get better after six to eight weeks, no surgery needed. The take home message is, if you can tolerate the pain and be patient, you can avoid disc surgery. 
This is Dr. John Shim discussing how your body removes a disc herniation. If you'd like more information about similar topics, please subscribe to our newsletter or our YouTube channel. Thank you.